Welcome to episode two of Mary's Kitchen Table Chat, brought to you from my kitchen. Um, thank you everybody for your kind messages about last week's episode. I have a special treat for you today. Not really, <laughs> but I, um, last weekend I went to Chicago and I met up with over 20 people from my, my, my bigger Shackley team, um, and it was really fun. So one of the people I traveled with, Christy, um, we went to the airport together to return to our different places. We weren't flying to the same place, but we traveled to the airport together. Um, and we had some extra time at the airport, so I waited while Christy was in line to get her boarding pass and stuff from her airline. I will not say which airline because it was crazy. Um, so I'm sitting there after a great weekend, sitting in the benches, and I guess they canceled a flight or something because I thought I was going to meet my end in the Chicago airport. It got crazy. It was like mob mentality broke out when they announced this cancellation. And you had people like yelling at the attendants. I have never seen any, I mean, when I'm in an airport, everybody's like on their best behavior, you know, like must do the right thing. Cause you don't want to, you don't want to be noticed in an airport. So anyways, I was sure that I was going to be on the news that day, but i just like to tell you that I made it home safe. Um, and also, I told you last time that I was going to tell you a little bit about my health journey on these videos. So this week, <laughs> I tried something new for to just to test it out. I'm kind of in a testing phase of things. I decided to get an Ion foot cleanse. Okay, if you've never heard of this, it's probably maybe your chiropractor does it or something. I found mine in my chiropractor's office. So I went to the chiropractor and put my feet in this water, this bucket of water and they put in this like machine. And I, I don't think you can see my hands, but I talk with my hands. They put in this machine and it supposedly generates ions into the water that somehow, I don't get it, but it somehow sucks stuff out of your body through your feet. <laughs> well, I'm a whole new person because I think it sucked a whole dead person out of my feet. <laughs> so it's so gross. <laughs> I didn't plan on saying it like that. <laughs> um, what's a, what's a better way I could describe that? Um, the water was gross. I don't know if that came from my foot or this, I don't know, aliens dropped it. I don't understand how it could have gotten there, but all you know is the water was clean when I put my feet in and feet in, and then after it had run for 30 minutes, I could barely look at the water. It was so gross. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I do think though that yesterday I felt a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I will tell you that I've been working on my health for a couple years. I'm really focusing on it probably for a couple months. I have not been officially dieting or anything like that, um, but I've been just trying to make small changes. And um, was really exciting when I went clothes shopping a couple weeks ago. I was a size smaller. Um, that was pretty awesome. But the biggest thing to me was today I w went shopping and I was buying some stuff. I'm decorating my porch in the back. And I was buying a big like outdoor rug and some other outdoor equipment. And I was there in the store um, I have my baby boy in the little, you know, buggy thing at the front of the cart. And I was, like, bending with these heavy things, putting them in the bottom of the cart, like, twisting and turning. And I, it, like, occurred to me, oh, my gosh, I am doing this. Um, 
I don't, I think if I would have tried to do this much in this amount of short of time, like go on three major trips within five weeks and um, continue to take care of my house and my yard and a one-year-old, I would not have been able to do any of this this time last year. Um, any one of those things would have had me in bed for at least a couple days after. Um, so pretty big, pretty big development over here. Uh, I know it just sounds like regular life, but it's pretty exciting to me. Um, but I'm feeling that much better that I can do that kind of thing. Um, so my organizing tip to you today, I want to find out, do you clean out your fridge before you go grocery shopping? Um, if you've never thought about that, I would encourage you to clean out your fridge every time you're going to go grocery shopping. First of all, it'll save you from rebuying something you already have a ton of. Um, and second of all, it is so much more fun to come and put groceries away in a clean fridge. So that's my little tip to you today is make that a weekly habit. Um, just like grocery shopping every week for milk and produce, make sure you wipe down that fridge and clean it out. So um, this has been a great episode, I think. Um, thanks for tuning in um, and being patient with me while I figure this out. Um, and as always, have a great day. Bye.